Got some new timbers just arrived. Big sheets of ply. So this is the new uh, sanding room that I built. I've insulated it and it's uh, OSB inside and out. So we need a, a window for that. So we need a window frame. So we're going to use some that timber to make a window frame. And we also need a door. So it's a door frame and a door being built. Could have bought it, but what's the fun in that? Plus, these uh, kitchen cabinets are going to go and we're going to build a new set of cabinets and we're going to put them over the miter saw and the radial arm saw. Oh, we're going to have a busy few weeks and hopefully some decent videos to come out of it. Stay tuned. I start off by cutting some plain door round par uh, four by one and a half redwood pine to the window opening with. Uh, this will be the window sill. The window frame will be made from some 3x2 scant construction timber. So I'm going to plane a bevel on the edge, uh, leaving a flat to the frame size. It's approximately a 15 degree angle. Just using a pencil and the mortise gauge to mark it out. Just give the sill a test fit and we'll check that out with a piece of the frame stock to ensure that the flat is the right width. As most construction timber, this 3v2 requires a bit of attention to flatten and square up before I make the frame. For the joints I'm using a double bridle joint, table saw cross cut sled and uh, the tenon jig are the tools for this. Then onto the bandsaw to remove the centre waste. Of course, there is the matrix required, so uh, ten and jig. And bandsaw. Close, but not quite right. A little bit of uh, fine tuning required. Yep, that'll do. Some bench work just to finish off uh, the centre portion. Chisel, clear out the rest of the waist and square up the shoulders.
there's going to be a top opening window so a uh, cross member is required. Morrison tenants joint to be used here so it's a Morrison machine. Then the table saw, sled. Antenna and jig. Fine tuning on the bench, router plane, and shoulder plane in use. Everybody's second favourite activity. Glue up time. Then clamp it up. can never have too many clamps. Of course, checking for a square. Well, they don't look too bad, I don't think. I've just mitered some battens and uh, glued them to the top of the frame to act as a uh, a stop uh, for the opening window. This is the uh, opening window, same process as the frame. I've uh, used bridle joints at the end. Now we need to get it to fit and work. A rebate is required for uh, the glass panel to sit in. Using a rebating bit in the router for this, a few passes required to get to the right depth, of course. Of course it's obligatory to square off the corners with the chisel. Now I'm going to fit the top window, so it's on with the hinges. Not quite closing, so I need to put uh, a lean edge on the uh, opening window. Refit the window. Ah, jobs are good. Un. I 
need some beading that uh, I hold the glass in. So I'm going to put a round over on the uh, router table. Slice it off on the table slot. And then mitre the corners on the mitre saw. Then it's everybody's favourite job, sanding. 80 grit and then uh, finish with 120. Painting these, so I've put a primer and an undercoat on. Time to fit the windows. So we're uh, drilling and screwing the sill on first. Then uh, fit the window, put it in place. Then drill for where the uh, screws are going to go. But, uh, the drill I'm using has got a counterbore head on it as well, so that, uh, I'll be able to uh, fill it with a plug later. So on the pillar drill, just with the uh, plug cutter, making some small plugs. Release the plugs from the block on the uh, bandsaw. I'll glue and uh, fix the plugs in place to cover up the nasty screw heads. Flush cut saw and uh, chisel, tidies them up. A final coat of paint. I've added the glass and uh, just pinned the beads in. Window complete.